Newport 1421 12 mile in Madison Heights. We're televising the underground sanitary from a three inch stat clean out in the patient restroom across from women's restroom across from exam room three. Just flush the toilet in here. You can see the line to toilet ties in a little bit downstream. About 13 feet, the line makes a turn to the right, and then another turn on a Y fitting. Should be the only water really going in here, right? I don't see anybody else running water. Go ahead and keep going and see what happens. I don't see green yet. Forty feet, the line makes a elevation change. There appears to be a clean out right at the top. So here we have green dye coming in. I did put dye in exam room five and ran the water, and you can see the water's turned green here. Looks like a T fitting on the side. 
definitely not a wall hanging. Okay. I'm gonna put dye back in here. I'm going to retest this line with some dye. So at 35 feet, we have a line tying in. This is where exam room 5 and 4 tie in. Leave this to be the main clean out at 41 feet. We're going to pause the video here and verify. Okay, we verified this. this is the main clean out. Pulled the cap, and I can see the camera head hanging down this riser. Okay, we're going to pause here, paper test this line, and then continue. Okay, we've loaded a couple of these toilets a few times with paper. We'll see how the line reacts. up a little bit right there at that sink. That sink See, comes now, if, in. I, if I was to go start that sink, I think that flushed yeah, that out of it that. because that's, that's what I've been doing to fix the whole thing. So it just must be keep building up it's right It's hanging there. up on this. There's, and it's just for some reason, that fitting is catching. So it appears that the paper is hanging up just a little bit on this uh, fitting where the sink ties in. 
enough to periodically plug this line out. That's where that clean out is at. Okay. And then that fitting is at six feet past it. Yeah, so it's possible when you cabled it, you might have hit it and come up this way. That's what I had to it because, man, I ran 25 feet of cable. Yeah, and it's only six thing. feet down. Yeah. So that's got to be a T fitting. You just bump, bounce the wrong way. It the wrong way. We believe this to be a T fitting tying into this line. It's got to be. Well, it doesn't look like a sweep to me. No, because it's more elongated. The sweep has got more of an elongated right. picture. This on one it. looks like it's straight on. Straight in. against the, yeah, they used a T fitting instead of. Which would have been okay if they had canned it up a little bit right. to get this right down in the flow line. You can almost see where the stuff is stuck to the side of it. Mm -hmm. And that particular room should get, it's almost flowing into it, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez, makes me wonder if it's not a wide one or one way. Mm, no, you should be able to see up it if it was. Those are, those are real obvious. Go back just another hair. Yeah. yeah, the water's just, or the paper and stuff is just catching on that corner. So that would be part of the problem. exactly what I kind of suspected after two or three times in a row. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, this has got to be where it's at. The first time I found it by accident because I thought, God, there's just, I flushed it. There's nothing coming out that clean out. I mean, nothing. So I turned the sink on and went, mm -hmm. there's a tiny little bit of water, but not like that it should be. You know, where that sink's going, there should be a good flow of yeah. water. And then all of a sudden, as I'm watching it, just a little bit sure, breaking stuff up. Yeah, exactly yeah. what it did. Next thing you know, it was four minutes of listening. Okay, we're pulling back up out of the clean out. We're going to end the video here.